Welcome back to Mud Lake Ranch. Today we're here with the Hedgehog Dryer. This is not like your grandpa's boot dryer. Uh, this piece of equipment here will dry your boots, your gloves, or you can dry things like equipment. So I'm pretty excited about that given I have kids in three levels of football. Um, they have uh, shoulder pads and helmets that need to be dried after wet games. Um, they are fishermen. My middle child fell into a frozen pond a couple days ago and uh, this would have been super handy to have on hand. I do have a pair of boots that have been outside all winter. Um, and it rained two days ago, and it snowed yesterday, and it's cold and windy today. I'm going to bring those inside. That's going to be the first test with this dryer. Uh, the people at Hedgehog are probably cringing right now because that's going to be quite a test. So what's unique about this dryer? It is, uh, has adjustable heat from uh, 98 degrees to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, you'll notice with typical boot dryers, you can barely feel the air or the heat coming out of them. But is this safe? Uh, it claims to be fire safe. It's got a fire safe heating element with a 10 hour timer. This will dry a pair of wet shoes in 20 minutes. It has adjustable heat and airflow with silent or tornado mode. And it has a timer that can be set at 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or one to 10 hours. This is also equipped with a five speed fan and it has ionic technology that removes odor from your shoes. So we have a few test subjects here for that as well. Uh, having teenage boys in the house, we have some stinky sneakers, um, some cowboy boots and various other things that we're gonna try out. Um, they won't be in the video for the interest of time, but I'll give you a follow up probably in our shorts and maybe on my Instagram. Before we go any further, be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Most of our viewers are not subscribed to the channel. A very small percentage of you actually are. And if you're new here, welcome aboard. I doubt you want to see me unbox and assemble a dryer. So we're going to cut right to the uh, first test of drying these boots that have been outside basically literally all winter. Um, my son said they're junk because they've been out all winter. They're uh, hunting boots, uh, burleys or something like that. Um, link to this will be in the description below. Be sure to check that out. You can also pick this up at major retailers, but I'd prefer you use my link. All right, here's the boots. Super heavy, there's actually, oh, I think water frozen inside of them. Boots in the house, they're, uh, once they thaw, they're probably gonna get water, so I put one of our uh, little mats from the mudroom out here. The um, unit itself is supposed to mount to the wall using this bracket here. I don't have time for that because I go pick my kid up um, from a baseball practice. So I'm gonna try propping it up here against this chair. And I'm gonna turn it on. Uh, I'm gonna do the highest setting, 140. And I'm gonna check them uh, about a half hour and see how they're doing. All right, we got it on. It's at 90 degrees. Change it to 140. We don't need to do the stink thing for this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna set the timer at three hours just so it doesn't shut off for now. Um, and we'll be back in uh, about 35 minutes from picking up uh, my kid. Um, before we move on. The, the mitten uh, controls here, they're both off. So if you open these, then air comes out of the uh, mitten dryers. So we have both of those off. And let these suckers marinate. It's been two hours. They're really, really wet inside. So we're gonna let this thing run basically overnight and see if we can get these boots back to a wearable condition. This one had water in it. Work. All right, we're giving up. We're going to bed now. Let this thing work. All right, it's uh, morning. I did turn this thing off. It turned off on its own with the timer. I turned it back on. But they... Smell bad. 
they feel like they're dry. I don't think these are my size. Give it a whirl anyway. I'm heading out the door to work, so yeah, I can't get my feet. These are my son's. Um, the insoles are dry. These are pretty much beat for boots, but yeah, it worked good. Um, I makeshift wired this thing up. Um, it comes with the bracket, like I said. I'll be able to uh, move it from room to room. Um, I don't want to put it on the wall in the laundry room because it'll probably get taken out by a towel. Um, yeah, works great. Um, we'll uh, try it on some normal uh, sneakers and stuff and uh, versus boots that were left out all year long. The reason I wired it up is because when the boots started to thaw out, the uh, weight of the unit started to push down on the sides of the boots so that the hoses were touching the uh, insoles. So uh, that's why I had to wire it up so it keep the uh, tubes at the same height all the time. Thank you for watching this video on the Hedgehog Dryer. Be sure to pick one up and one last time if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe.